Knowing when to safely provide enteral nutrition for a patient receiving vasoactive agents is often a controversial subject for many ICU teams. In this video, we hope to shed some light on when to feed and when not to. What are vasoactive agents and how do they work? During times of critical illness, some patients experience shock. This can be due to acute blood loss, the septic response, or other reasons. When a patient experiences shock, there is inadequate blood flowing and circulating throughout the body. Patients in shock are often hypotensive. To compensate, the body redirects blood flow to the body's vital organs. Although all organs are important for survival, the most vital during this critical time are the heart and brain. Vasoactive agents are often used to facilitate this process and increase blood pressure to ensure good perfusion to vital organs. Vasoactive agents are a broad category of medications that includes both vasopressors and inotropes. Vasopressors are drugs that help to raise blood pressure by constricting blood vessels, while inotropes raise blood pressure by stimulating the heart to pump harder. Different vasoactive agents act in different ways. Some drugs increase blood flow to the GI tract, however many decrease blood flow to the gut. How does shock affect the GI tract? When blood flow is redirected to the heart and brain, that means it is directed away from the GI tract. During this process, the villi of the small intestine can be damaged. Even when blood flow is restored to the GI tract, villi can be damaged further. Damaged villi cannot effectively absorb nutrients. However, the worst case scenario is when the damage can progress to an ischemic injury, which causes bowel necrosis. Intestinal ischemia is very serious and often requires emergency surgery to remove dead tissue and attempt to salvage all viable tissue. Is it safe to provide enteral nutrition when a patient is receiving vasoactive agents? If a patient is receiving vasoactive agents, it's safe to assume that they have some degree of hypotension and blood flow to the GI tract may be inadequate. Providing enteral nutrition in this situation can raise the risk of ischemic injury. Some clinicians avoid enteral feeding if the patient is receiving vasoactive agents at any dose. However, current recommendations suggest that this is not necessary and gives us some parameters to make informed decisions and feed the patient safely. Guidelines published in 2016 by Aspen and the Society of Critical Care Medicine suggest that patients with low dose or de-escalating doses of vasoactive agents may begin enteral nutrition at a low rate and volume. Clinicians should watch feeding trends in the patient's mean arterial pressure, or MAP. If the MAP is consistently above 60 for non-septic patients or above 65 for septic patients, and the patient is on low-dose or de-escalating doses of vasoactive agents, clinicians should consider beginning a low-volume tube feeding. Monitoring for intolerance. Patients who are receiving vasoactive agents and enteral nutrition should be monitored more closely for signs of intolerance. Early signs of intolerance should be taken seriously and investigated further as they can be an early clue that the patient may develop an ischemic injury. Signs of intolerance include vomiting, abdominal distension, diarrhea, ileus, worsening hypotension, or a metabolic acidosis with no other explanation. In summary, although rare, bowel ischemia is a risk when providing enteral nutrition to patients who are receiving vasoactive agents. Current recommendations suggest that low volume enteral nutrition is generally safe when the patient's MAP is stable above 60 to 65 and the patient is on low dose or de-escalating doses of vasoactive agents. This patient population should be monitored very closely for signs of enteral feeding intolerance and have a low threshold to stop feeding to investigate for signs of bowel ischemia. For more information on feeding critically ill patients, download our handout, Vasopressors, Can We Feed? It's free in our store.